Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Well, I just dropped Boston off into tutoring and I am now getting my makeup on. It is 8 a.m. Yes, and I wanted to show you the uh, makeup kit that I got to have um, for this reason. I had a little makeup bag and it was just overflowing and I was dropping stuff. So I grabbed this, um, this was really, inexpensive I want to say ten dollars or less or eleven dollars or less and I got it at Ross um, so this is gonna be perfect for when I do my out-of-town trips and stuff so this on here says Sophia joy so so this top part here has where you could keep there's a pouch here and then a section where you can keep your brushes and then the big compartment to keep all your makeup. And I love it, it's just so easy. So I have, it keeps a ton in there, look at that. Um, so I'm starting to just slowly get doubles of everything that I use, just slowly and keeping them in here. So that way, when it's days like this, I could just grab this and go and I don't have to collect all my makeup off my vanity. So. Um, that's my hope one day. <laughs> Let's get this face on. <laughs> it looks scary. I've been so tired, you guys, working on the freezer meal videos. This takes time. I think I, I go through it more in my head than anything, seriously. So, okay, I'm gonna get this face on. Okay, I am ready for the day. Makeup is on. Um, so after I am done with Boston here, he's going back to school. And then I am off to get my nails done. A lot of you asked, you know, what do I ask my lady when I get my nails done? It's acrylic, but I could show you when I get there the jars and any exact names that you could tell your nail lady. Um, but I love them. She does such a good job. Good morning, friends. Hello, hello. <sighs> this is what I look like in the morning. <laughs> it's so scary, but this is me. Um, the kids left for school, and I am starting on my day. Today is a very busy day, and I'm still trying to get ready to hopefully cook and film my freezer meal videos for you tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am starting on deviled eggs because I'm going to an Easter party at my friend's house tonight with the kids, and I said I would bring deviled eggs. So I'm making them in my Instant Pot. I don't even know how many eggs I have in there. I just filled it up. Added a cup of water. I'm gonna high pressure it for four minutes, quick release it, and then quickly put these eggs in an ice bath, and then I'll start peeling them. Oh, best way to make hard boiled eggs is in your Instant Pot. Yes. If you'd like to see a full tutorial on how I make these deviled eggs, click on the link. one we all know who that is nobody touch it the rest of them are all for a fair game Boston's a big enough boy he can get whatever okay Whoever finds what. okay guys daddy is cruel and likes to pit you guys against each other but mother may me not do that so it's the same amount in all the eggs this isn't Christmas this is Easter yes I know what things are <laughs> so <laughs> I will say this, there is one egg with a hundred dollars in it. I can, oh my god, I love, mom. I love there's egg, there's egg. one egg with a hundred dollar bill in it. If you find an egg and it's not the one, you're still done, you found your egg. Can the college student get the one hundred dollar bill? Nope, let's go.
What'd you get, Shaylee? Did you get 10 bucks? Two five bucks, that's 10 bucks. I'm gonna look some more. He's looking high, that's why he's doing that. It's an April Fool's Day! Everybody gets confused. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how Easter's on friends. So right now Shaylee and I are heading off to Walmart to get a few supplies that we need to make our freezer meals with. So I have 20 pounds of ground beef that I'm working with today. Oh yes. So um, I'm out of a couple of things and so I need to go grab them and then we can come home and get to work. I'm getting some Ziploc freezer bags, the gallon. They also carry two gallon Ziploc bags which are great if you're doing soup. Um, and you don't have any like containers to freeze them in, use the two gallon. Um, because your soup will expand in the freezer bags with all the extra moisture and believe me, I've had soup just leak out, yeah. So I just love doing it in the two gallon Ziploc, much easier. I love the press and seal, so I'm gonna grab some of that. And also I'm gonna be grabbing some aluminum foil. My goodness yeah it's crazy in here I have started on freezer meals but Shaylee and I are having a little snack and we're having cottage cheese with blueberries and strawberries yum okay I'm down in my food storage room and I'm shopping my pantry basically so I've got this big bowl here I'm gonna put all the canned goods in there so I can carry them upstairs so my shepherd's pie takes whole corn sweet corn so I'm gonna need two cans of that, two cans of green beans, and two cans of tomato soup. Now I'll bring this all up. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so out of it. I only got enough cans for a doubled recipe, and I'm quadrupling this, so <laughs> I need to get more cans. <laughs> okay, I just finished mashing some potatoes for my shepherd's pie. And I have two beaters here that need to be licked. <laughs> this was one of my favorite childhood memories. We would fight over the beaters. And guys, you remember my birthday date? My Oma made green ones. She made green mashed potatoes? And she has, she has different ones. Yeah, she made them green. So, this was a fun memory. Uh-huh. This is a neat little tool that I got from a Pampered Chef party. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I'll leave a link down below. This works so good to like press down on half frozen stuff or frozen stuff and then twist it and it breaks it apart. I love this gadget. This has been one of my favorite kitchen tools. So I love this, their can opener and their garlic peeler, like garlic press. This is the garlic press. From Pampered Chef. I have used other garlic presses over the years and they do not compare. I don't sell Pampered Chef. I'm just letting you know that if you get invited to a party or know someone that sells it, get this garlic press because believe me, you'll thank me for it.
Hello, hello. It is seven o'clock and I am done making freezer meals for today. Okay, this is my huge freezer. <laughs> this is where I get all the ground beef from. We go into a third of a cow with a family and yes, yeah, so I have steaks and ground beef, all that fun stuff. I also have another freezer here that I use for freezer meals as well. Today I'm going to make room in here for the freezer meals that I made today. Okay, today I'm gonna lay my taco meat bags on top of the, the aluminum pans. If you're gonna make a lot of freezer meals in Ziploc bags and want to just start stacking them flat, you're gonna need a layer of like wax paper in between or else these bags are gonna start sticking together. And then if you wanna lay them on the rack, don't lay them just on here. I have had a bad experience with it. Lay a piece of cardboard or um, like a cutting board, like a thin cutting board if you have them underneath because it will seep through. Oh, I had a bad experience with white chicken chili. So that's what I'm gonna do here for this. All right, those are the freezer meals for today and I'm gonna shut the door and get them frozen. I had my list here and I had on the schedule two meat loves, two shepherd's pies, two taco meats, two meatballs, two tater tot casseroles, and two sloppy joes. Well, um, I did one sloppy joe, it equals four pounds of sloppy joe mix, so that's a lot. Um, so I only did one of those. I did do my two meatloaves, my two shepherd's pie, my two taco meats. I am saving the meatballs and tater tot casserole. Uh, my plan is tomorrow. I don't have any plans, I don't think, tomorrow. So I'm gonna finish this up tomorrow. So, <laughs> so I'll have that to do, but I have oh, this whole kitchen to clean up. I'm pooped. So I did make some freezer meal uh, labels so um, we're gonna see how they work I don't know how well they're gonna hold up in the freezer if they're smear I might need to do them a little differently but I have my she's in her apron logo up top so that's fun so they weren't hard to put together I got a packet of um, shipping labels from Avery at Walmart and just made these it was Super simple, so I have the files on my computer and I'm liking this way, I think, um, for, here's my Sloppy Joe ones, for freezing. So I'm gonna put this in my freezer meal binder. I do have a freezer meal binder where I keep all my recipes that we use for freezer meals, so I'm gonna put that in there. All right, I'm exhausted, my ankles kill me, and I gotta clean this kitchen. So here's the aftermath. <laughs> Oh boy. So, this is what I gotta clean up. 